I think there is something very therapeutic about travel. Travel is very, very good for the soul. And in particular, cycle touring is particularly good. Moving slowly at the pace of about 10 or 12 miles per hour. I've done that all over the world. And it just, it just is, it's very good for my mindset. It makes me feel free. It, it purifies negative thoughts in my brain. At the beginning of the pandemic, perhaps like millions of people all around Britain and all around the world, my life came crashing down. I lost a whole year's worth of work. I lost an old friend. I quickly worked my way through my life savings. I had to sign on to universal credit. I had to take a mortgage holiday and everything I'd known beforehand just changed dramatically. And I could feel myself entering a state of anxiety and stress and depression. So after a few months of feeling terrible, I dreamt up this crazy idea to cycle the length of Britain during the pandemic, totally within the parameters of the law at the time, but to go out and try and find other people around Britain who might be able to show me and tell me about how they have come through challenging times in their lives before. So I met all sorts of interesting people. I, I stayed with these guys in the, um, in the Scottish Highlands. I met fishermen in Shetland. I met journalists in Orkney. I met um, cheesemakers on the Isle of Arran. I, um, I met very, very rich people, very, very poor people. I met young people, I met old people. And I think what I really realized was that this pandemic impacted absolutely everyone. And as a journalist, it's very rare that you find an event that has happened in history that has affected everyone on the planet. So on this bicycle journey around Britain, I was really starting to tune in to the natural world around me. I saw red deer, I saw peregrine falcons, I saw seals, I saw otters, I saw all manner of interesting things. And that was because I was trying to stay as mindful as possible. Because if you're moving very, very slowly, it allows you to perceive all of the interesting things going on around you in a way that you wouldn't get to see or hear or experience if you were zooming through in a, a car or on a train or even in, on a plane. So this journey is a three and a half thousand mile journey around Britain, but I think it's also partly a memoir about my grieving process, my battles with anxiety and mental ill health, but it's also hopefully a snapshot of Britain during a, a very fascinating period in its history and how different people have ridden out the storm in their own particular way.